today we are going to learn about england it is the place that gave the world so much from english language to six year to so many sports like cricket football rugby golf croquet badminton and lawn tennis to name a few england also gave us jigsaw puzzle the internet sandwiches the train toothbrush the beatles department stores and helen mirror England also invaded so many independent peaceful countries around the globe and left lasting effect. Kashmir war between India and Pakistan is a famous example. England along with other European powers like Spain, Portugal, France, Netherlands, Denmark and Sweden were actively engaged in transatlantic slave for over 150 years. Britain alone transported million enslaved Africans to colonies in Americas. It has left a lasting and ongoing effect in both continents. Through colonization, England introduced common law legal system and parliamentary system of government that have been adapted by many countries around the globe. Are you ready to explore England? Let's go. It is one of the four regions that make up United Kingdom, not considered a separate nation, but it was an independent kingdom until 1707. It shares the land borders with the UK's two other regions, Wales and Scotland, and surrounded by five seas: the Irish Sea, Celtic Sea, the North Sea, Bristol Channel, and English Channel. England's flag is derived from the St George's Cross. It is used as a component in the design of the Union Jack since 1606. England's coat of arms is the Royal Coat of Arms of England. It is formally adapted in the 12th century by Henry I. He used a single lion on his standard when he came to power in 1100. When he married his second wife, Adelise of Louvain, in 1221 he added the second lion to honor her father who also had the lion on his shield the two lion became three in 1154 when henry the second married eleanor of aquitaine her family crest also had a lion geography england covers the area of central and southern two third of the island of great britain plus over 100 smaller offshore islands such as isles of scilly and isle of wight English channels separate England from France and the continental Europe however they are physically connected by the channel tunnel it is the longest undersea tunnel in the world topography of England is mainly green flat lower land with a gentle rolling hill particularly in the southern part Northern uplands including the Pennines are known as backbone of England. It is a chain of low mountains that divide the regions east and west. Mountains in Cambria in Lake District and the Cheviot Hill straddle the border between England and Scotland. The highest point in England is Scafell Pike in the Lake District. It's about 978 meters tall. England shows are beautiful. Where these hills meet the sea is the rock cliff. like the cliff of dover several large rivers run through england the longest one is river severn the longest river entirely within england is the popular but slightly smaller river thames that runs through london england is also home to many lakes the largest one is the windermere in the lake district England's favorite topic of conversation is weather. It is generous to say the weather is unpredictable. The climate is considered temperate maritime and it has mild summers and winters. The precipitation is also common throughout the year. It rains most of the days. England's climate moderated by its maritime location and the presence of Gulf Stream. The average January temperatures is about 1 degree celsius and the average july high temperature is about 21 degree celsius history let's start the history with the formation of british isles they were separated from mainland europe about 8000 years ago this amazing stone henges was erected about 5000 years ago the celtic people started to colonize the island about 600 bc Romans headed by Julius Caesar invaded England in 54 BC. He knew he wasn't going to be successful so he withdrew. Came back a year later with a lot more firepower and negotiated a surrender and a tribute. But he was too eager to return home for the winter due to growing unrest in the area. So he left England without leaving anyone to enforce his rule. The Romans succeeded in year 43, made Britannia a Roman province and ruled until 
year 410 anglo saxon settlement started in 450 and ruled much of the island until year 793 the vikings invaded the island in 866 saxon king alfred the great defeated the vikings in 926 the danish conquered england in 1016 after the norman conquest in 1066 william of normandy became england's king The 100-year war with France began in 1337 and lasted until 1453. In 1349, the Black Death hit England and killed as much as half of the population. The War of the Roses between the families of the York and the Lancasters for the right to rule England began in 1455 and ended with the crowning of Henry Tudor as the King Henry VII. The Tudor era began. England and Wales were joined by the Act of Union in 1536. The Elizabethan era began in 1558 with the crowning of Queen Elizabeth I. The Stuart dynasty rule started in 1603 with the crowning of King James VI of Scotland as the King James I of England and he united England and Scotland. The Act of Union passed by the English and Scottish Parliament in 1707. The Great Fire of London destroyed much of the city in 1666. The English Bill of Rights was established in 1689 giving more power to the Parliament. The British and the Irish Parliament were joined by the Act of Union in 1801 and the United Kingdom was born. The Brits defeated Napoleon at the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. The Queen Victoria was crowned in 1837 and the Victorian era began. The First World War began in 1914 and the United Kingdom fought with the Allies against Germany and ended the war in 1918. The Second World War began in 1939 and ended in 1945. Queen Elizabeth II was crowned in 1952. Wow! That's the history of England in a jiffy. People and culture. England's population is about 56 million. About 71 percentage of the whites, Asians make up 12 percentage, blacks account for 6 percentage. About 7 percentage of them are mixed race. Remaining 4 percentage either identified as other or unclassified. About half of them are Christians, third of them are non-religious, and Muslims account for 7%, Hindus make up 2%. English is the commonly used language, however, accent and dialects are different from region to region. Capital and the largest city by population is London. It is an amalgamation of former boroughs and counties. English contribution to both the British and the world cultures are too vast. Many scientific and technological advances originated in London. England played an important role in cinema, literature, music, art, democracy, shipbuilding, aircraft, motor vehicle, philosophy, mathematics and sports. Humor, traditions and good manners are some of the characteristics commonly associated with English. Like many other cultures around the world, English culture has been accepted centered with other cultures from afro-caribbean asians muslims and other immigrant groups even as english culture evolved it continued to exert its influence on rest of the world english music film and literatures are enjoyed worldwide English people are one of the most cosmopolitan people but they keep their tight to rural area urbanites may own a country home or cottage and commonly retire in the villages English class system is fast disappearing but still prevalent in some areas English cuisine has traditionally been based on beef lamb pork chicken and fish all cooked with minimum spice and herbs it is generally served with potato and other vegetables in the case of fish it is deep fried in a batter and served with fried potatoes fish and chips it is traditionally wrapped in old newspaper to keep warm as a popular carry out dish other traditional english dishes include scones kippers bangers and mash pie and mash bubble and squeak blood pudding scotch egg yorkshire pudding steak and kidney pie chelsea bun plumman's lunch cornish curd cream and sticky taffy puddings these days chicken tikka masala is widely considered a national dish even though it is an indian dish drinking tea is an important part of english culture while tea is still a popular hot drink coffee is getting popularity too sports play is an important part in english society Popular team sports include football, field hockey, cricket, rugby and netball. Major individual sports include badminton, tennis, boxing, motor sports and horse racing. Economy. 
England's economy is one of the largest, most diverse and truly dynamic in the world. GDP is about $2.5 trillion and average GDP per capita is about $45,000 or 35,000 pounds. England is highly industrialized. It is an important producer of textile, chemical product, pharmaceuticals, transport vehicle and much more. England excel in key technical industries, particularly aerospace, the arms industry, high tech and software development. UK's technology sector is valued at 1 trillion US dollars, third behind United States and China. It is mostly based on England. A significant portion of the income comes from the City of London and its financial hub, banking, insurance, investment management and other related financial services. Tourism play a key role in the economy of England. Over 2 million people visit England each year. Creative industries like art, film and music also play an important part in England's economy. Agriculture is intensive and highly mechanicalized and efficient by European standard. Produce 60% of the food need with only 2% of labor force. Livestock take up large portion of the agriculture effort. Main crops include wheat, barley, oats, potatoes and sugar. England retain a significant and large fishing industry as well. That's it for England. The next one is Scotland. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe please. Thank you.